Yes, sir. What's up, man? What's going on? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Picked you up before? I got my thousand dollar. Oh, you okay. know. Yeah. I think yeah. Well, all right. Where we going? Uh, we're going to CBC, right? CBC, my man. What's all this? Oh, going on here? Okay, they are doing some EPB. They are doing stuff. Some internet <laughs> stuff. Internet stuff, man. They're watching porn in there, dude. High speed so. process. <laughs> VR set. Come on now. You're you're thinking Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> nah, brother, doing that in that van. I promise you. I promise you. It's facts. They didn't ask us to be characters. Yeah, you know. Like, so, up. so when I go in here and have me a drink, I gotta go. You're gonna pick me up, and take me out, right? Of course, man. I'll be driving all night. Yeah, but I can't. Just, I just can't go. Thing you. Like, no, you. It, it's just I wish, dude. I wish. Yeah, it's like whoever's closest, you know. I got you. It's that bullshit. I got you. I do say close to here, though. You know? Chances are. Chances are high. You have fun. All right, buddy. Thank you, Al. No problem, man. Tip you on the up there. Jim? Oh, thank you, bro. <laughs> Bruh. You smoke? Okay, gotta get that to you. You take it easy. You have What's fun, bro. Jordy. Jordy. Yeah. JB. JB. That's what I like that. Are you trying to take my Uber? No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, man. It's my Uber. <laughs> what up, man? What up? Man, I've rode with you before. Dude, you did? Yeah, and I was drunk. And I'm, I called you Jay Hordy. Oh, Remember? Dude, I was dude, in the back. It, it was like the lights are on. I was like, oh, oh. shit. You took us to um, this weird place over in East Chat called uh, Mer no, Merv's. Not Merv's. It's something else. I forget. You had on this full on decked out, like, uh, Universal shit. What? Space. Yes, and the shoes. Dude, the shoes. You had it all, dude. I was like, you had the whole setup. Like, I felt bad because I was like, I was so drunk. Apparently, like my buddy, and we guys like, man, why was you talking to that, talking shit to that guy? And I'm like, I wasn't talking shit. I was talking shit. I was like, man, come on. Hopefully he's cool. Hopefully Did he give me cool. like a one star rating or nothing? Just we're good. Drunk. It wasn't my nah, ride. Bro. It was his Uber ride, so we're good. I'm not no snowflake, bro. <laughs> good deal. I mean, I was <laughs> I was drunk that I'm not. I mean, I'm, words. I got a buzz that you know tonight, but no, like I did that. Uh, that that was a. Uh, the bar we went to after we left CBC, mm -hmm. I don't remember a lot from that bar, but apparently my buddy was like, "Here, man, you just leave the tip." Yeah. I said, "Did I pay for our, all of our tab?" He's like, "No, I'd already paid our tab. You just needed to leave the tip." And I'm like, "You left her a hundred dollars?" He's like, "No, you left her a hundred dollars." Well, before he told me all this happened, he said, "Old girl said your buddy you brought to the bar the other night. He's really weird. You should bring him back sometime." And I was like, "What?" Like, I may be weird, but damn. I was like, nah, man, I'm good. And then once I realized, I was like, oh, that's why she wants me to come. I thought it was maybe me, but no, yeah, that was yeah. that $100 tip. She's like, you. yeah, bring him back. He's weird. Keep bring him back, but it's all right. He's, He's weird as good. shit. He's kind of cute. He's kinda weird. cute. You know? His hundred raising from like a six <laughs> to a nine. You know what I'm saying? A solid 9.9. Nine. I don't want to throw money out there just so I can get see this chick and be like, ooh, look, he just threw some money. She's going to expect me to spend money yep. on her. Oh, before we go to this date, let's go over here to the mall right quick, Victoria's Secrets right quick. I'm cool with that, but I ain't paying for it. I don't know why women gotta be that way. You gotta find that right woman, dude. But what's crazy, right. like, I hate to say it, really, yeah. I really hate to say it, but I've been the nice guy. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah, what you, always you, happens you to the nice guy. Nice guy. <laughs> Turn into the provider guy. You yeah, know what I mean? Provider. The That's provider. The leftover guy. Bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, damn. I, what? So, I'm supposed to be this guy that goes up, talks a bunch of bullshit, tells this chick whatever she wants to hear, I guess, that he's going to turn her on. That's what I'm supposed to do as a man to not have to be the nice guy. Yeah. I'm like, what? Come on now. Like, we were hanging out at CBC. There's all these little college girls hanging out there. And I'm like, you know. I've been around long enough. I know the game. Yeah. I know how to bullshit, but I don't. For yeah, some you reason, don't I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person. They and I see even. these guys doing it, and they're all over them. And I'm thinking, you want that right now, but about you know five, ten years from now, you're gonna wish you didn't have that guy because he's fucking every other girl in the bar. I've kind of figured out over time is if you're that guy in the beginning that is Mr. Oh, I'm alpha male, you know, talking all this bullshit. Yeah. And you get him. <laughs> 
maybe you can keep them like by being the nice guy but at the same time still being a little bit kind of you know a lot of the nice guys you know what they do they don't know how to keep a girl turned on and that's the problem they don't want to push over they don't want a yes man they want a man and no matter what any of them say they'll say some one yeah, thing like, but no. they don't want that they don't that's want not that what they, they don't want, want that. they'll say it because they, they don't, don't want to be known as a slut or whatever yeah. you know what i mean they, they want a guy that's going to pull their hair, push them around, treat them like shit, but at the Spit same time, face. also take them out to dinner, tell them how much they love them, oh, you're this and you're that, but, and it's like finding a balance with that. It's kind of tough for me because my parents, they're not like that way. My dad's not, like a, he's not really an alpha male type, yeah, so I didn't really learn that. Yeah. I learned to just, you know, be nice. Be a, be, be be a nice. provider, yeah, but they don't want that. They, they don't, don't respect, that like they want it, but they don't respect it, apparently. Like, I've had so many girls I've been with cheat on me, and I'm like, why? Right. Like, what? I've never cheated on a girl in my life that I've been with. Never. Ever. But yet, you know, I'll be dating a girl, and all of a sudden, I'm like, who are you Snapchat over there? <laughs> like, the, it's weird for me. This whole, like, Facebook, social media stuff that is now part of society, like, you've kind of grown up with it. Why are women, like, women getting hit up by all these dudes, all these thirsty dudes, like, fuck boy nation, just inboxing them all the time. And I'm like... Once we're in a relationship, why do I have to co compete with this? There's no reason, like, I shouldn't have to sit there and, like, sit there and fight a battle every day. Like, every ooh, day, let me yeah. fight, be better than this guy. Let me be better than this guy. Let me be better than this guy. But she's like, who are you texting? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> what? Brittany. I oh fucked her last God. week. Yeah. And that's probably what I should, what, what should happen. She'd be like, oh, that bitch? Yeah, I fucked her. She has a better blowjob than you do. What? She probably like it, to be honest. Probably would. Just probably. the way they're twisted. They think they're crazy, though. Like, crazy. They don't think logically. They really. don't, bro. They take emotionally. Before any of y'all beautiful women get offended by what I said, let me ask you a question. How many times did you cry on your last vacation? Because these women will get in my car and they'll be like, I only cried twice on my last vacation. How the fuck did you cry twice on your last vacation? It's a vacation. Did your dad die Friday and your mom die Saturday? How the fuck did you cry twice on a vacation? What do you do when it's not a vacation? If you go in with an emotional aspect and you talk a bunch of shit, you, I think women visualize shit a lot more than men do. They create this world in their mind. I've noticed by watching these guys, they yeah. will sit there and shit talk women and they will make these women think about all kinds of crazy stuff. And they're sitting there thinking about all this shit and you can see that woman just melting. This guy just said a whole lot of nothing, but yet she's all ready to go and I'm like, damn. I'm sitting there talking logic. I'm like, you know, trying to logically yeah. communicate. Nope, not happening. Bitch, how about you twerk on my dick? And like, damn, he's so romantic. <laughs> right. Poetry. It's almost like that. It's sad that it's almost like that. But Shakespeare. I'm yeah. sitting here single, 36. Blessing. Oh, <laughs> that's what people say, but I'm like, I just, I don't have that in. I mean, I haven't built it up in me yet to be that guy. You know, mm -hmm. I can do. I know it. I know it. I know all the shit I get to do say, it. but I'm just. There's still something in me that's like on your back. Do I know? YouTube compilation. If you want me down, like a Let's conversation, shorten it up. Yeah. Cut off your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Tag me in it, bro. You won't be able to find me in it.